Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to continue talking about definite integrals as limits of Riemann sums. First, let's review the big idea. In the last video, we talked about how definite integrals are the exact area under a curve and can be expressed as limits. So the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum of delta x times f of x sub i, where i goes from one to n. Remember, this means that we're finding the sum of the areas of n rectangles, where n approaches infinity. So now let's look at a strategy for how to write a definite integral as the limit of a Riemann sum. The first thing we need to do is find delta x, which is b minus a over n. Remember, delta x is the width of each rectangle. Then we need to find x sub i, which is a plus delta x times i. Each x sub i is the x value that we'll plug into the function to get the height of each rectangle. Then we'll write the final answer, the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum of delta x times f of x sub i, where i goes from one to n. This represents the sum of the areas of an infinite number of rectangles. Now let's do some example problems. And with each of these problems, I encourage you to pause the video and try on your own before viewing the solution. Example one, here we have the integral from two to five of x squared dx. Let's write this integral as the limit of a Riemann sum. So the first thing we'll do is find delta x, which in this case is five minus two over n, which equals three over n. Then we'll find x sub i, which is a plus delta x times i and that would be two plus three i over n. Now we can write the final answer. The integral from two to five of x squared dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum where i goes from one to n of three over n times the quantity of two plus three i over n squared. Remember three over n is delta x and the quantity of two plus three i over n squared is f of x sub i. And we're done. Let's do another example. Here we have the integral from one to three of two to the x dx. Let's write this as the limit of a Riemann sum. The first thing we'll do is find delta x, which is b minus a over n. In this case, that's three minus one over n, and that gives us two over n. Then we'll find x sub i, which is a plus delta x times i. In this case, that gives us one plus two i over n. Now we can write the final answer. The integral from one to three of two to the x dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum where i goes from one to n of two over n times the quantity of two to the one plus two i over n. Two over n is delta x and two to the one plus two i over n is f of x sub i. Are you getting the hang of this yet? Let's do another example. Here we have the integral from pi to three pi over two of three sine two x dx. The first thing we'll do is find delta x, which in this case is three pi over two minus pi over n, and that simplifies to pi over two n. Then we'll find x sub i, which is a plus delta x times i. So in this case, we get pi plus pi i over two n. Then we can write the final answer. The integral from pi to three pi over two of three sine two x dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum where i goes from one to n of pi over two n times the quantity of three sine two times the quantity of pi plus pi i over two n. Pi over two n is delta x and three sine two times the quantity of pi plus pi i over two n is f of x sub i. Okay, let's do one last example to make sure that you truly understand this. Here we have the integral from three to eight of one over x dx. The first thing we'll do is find delta x, which is eight minus three over n, which is equivalent to five over n. Then we'll find x sub i, which is a plus delta x times i. In this case, that gives us three plus five i over n. Then we'll write the final answer. The integral from three to eight of one over x dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum where i goes from one to n of five over n times one over three plus five i over n. Five over n is delta x 
and one over three plus five I over N is F of X sub I. So now I hope you feel more confident with the process of writing a definite integral as the limit of a Riemann sum. Just keep on practicing. And that's how you rock calculus.